see. Here we are on our homepage of our new vividaquariums.com website. You'll notice in the top right corner, next to the shopping cart button, is build a tank. Now if you click there, it'll take you to this page. And this page we've created to make it easy for you to put together the aquarium system of your dreams. We have a link here to this very video that you're watching if you want to refer back to it for any information. And here we have a link to the filtration diagram. If we click that, you'll see here we have the aquarium, the sump, skimmer, media reactor, heater, pumps, chiller, UV sterilizer, and return line. And on this page, we give great information as to what each component is useful for and why you need it uh, to be part of your aquarium system. Now, at any point on the website, no matter where you are on any of the links, you can always click that Build a Tank link and that'll take you right back to the Build a Tank page. Let's start here with the aquarium itself. And I want to build a 120 gallon system today. So I'm going to start by clicking that product. And I'm going to keep it simple and do just a standard glass aquarium. Instead of clicking Add to Cart, I'm going to click Add to Tank Build. And that'll take us back to our Tank Build page. You'll see it there. Uh, listed out. We'll click the next category, Aquarium Stands and Canopies. Now this is the one category we just have an informational page uh, about stands and canopies. We can get them for you, but uh, we don't have them listed on the website at this point as there's just too many options out there to list. We we'll click to go back to build a tank and we're going to choose a chiller for our aquarium. I like to keep things nice and cool. I'm going to choose a JBJ Arctica chiller and for a 120 gallon tank I'd recommend a one-fifth horsepower Arctica chiller. And again, we're gonna add that to tank build. Now, dosing pumps, also a great uh, choice for any aquarium system. You'll notice that during, on all of our category pages, we have a video which will explain the products of that category a little bit more detail to tell you again, useful tips about them and why you may uh, wanna include them in your aquarium system. So here I'm gonna go with a GHL standalone dosing pump. We'll add that to our tank build. And here, if you click add another item, it will allow you to add additional accessories. For instance, with the dosing pump, I like to have a tube holder to keep the tubes from the dosing pump uh, so they empty into my sump. And I also like to add some dosing containers as well. So I'm gonna add four dosing containers for my dosing pump. Oops, I did say four. We'll add those to our tank build as well. And now our next category is heaters. With heaters, I'm just going to keep it simple and choose the high door heaters. We're going to go with two 150 watt heaters to provide a little bit of redundancy to the system. Our next category is lighting. And I'm going to keep this tank a little cooler using the Ecotech Radeon lighting. We'll go with the Gen 2 Ecotech Radeons. And uh, notice too, if you want to read more text, you just click this no More button and that'll give you the full text for that product. So we'll add that to our cart. We're gonna do two radiant fixtures for our 120 gallon tank. <clears throat> Next, we have a protein skimmer, very important part of any saltwater system. We're gonna choose an in-sump skimmer. I'm gonna use a Reef Octopus Diablo series skimmer. We're gonna do the XS225, which is a great skimmer, will easily handle a 120 gallon tank. Our next category is pumps and power heads. I'm going to choose an external pump for this aquarium system. A great external pump for 120 would be the Reflow Snapper Dart. Again, you can click more if you want to see all the text we have to write about it. We'll click that, we'll add that to our tank build as well. And a few more categories left here. RO water filters, you may or may not want to add an RO filter, but it makes it easy to top off your aquarium with good fresh water or to mix your own salt water. We're going to go with a 60 gallon per day CSP RODI unit from Spectrapure. And now we have a sump. That is a very important part of the filter system. Again, we have a video at top to talk to you about custom sumps that we build. I'm going to choose a 36 inch, 36 by 18 by 20 vivid custom sump for this 120 gallon setup. A nice big sump for that tank, help keep the system stable. UV sterilizers, you may or may not want to add a UV to your system, but uh, it's easy certainly to add at any point. For now, I'm going to go ahead and put it on our tank build, since I'm going all out here and adding something from every category. 
And then lastly, we're going to choose a wave maker. My favorite wave maker is the Ocean's Motions, and that works very well. One of them would do a great job on a 120 gallon tank to vary the flow. Now if we go back to our tank build page, you'll see that we have all the different components listed out. At the bottom it gives us a subtotal. and You'll see you can save this for later. If you click this button, you do have to be logged into the website. So at the top of the website, just click Log In and then Register. And that will allow you to save this tank build you've created for later. And also, if you want to, uh, you can add all the items to the shopping cart by clicking this button. Or, if you just want to add certain items, you could click, for instance, chillers and cooling fans. I want to add that to my shopping cart, and it will put just the chiller in there. And then you can go back to your build a tank page. You'll see that it's turned green because that item has already been added to the shopping cart. You can say, let's add the heater as well because I want to go ahead and get the chiller and the heater now. And that's now in the shopping cart. And now we go back to our Build-A-Tank page. We see that the heater is also turned green. And if you wanted to delete an item, like say I wanted to forget that tube holder, just hit an X there. And I would take the tube holder off of the Build-A-Tank page. But that's a basic overview of our Build-A-Tank page. Hopefully this is helpful to all you guys. Uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch. And uh, look forward to hearing from you. Definitely, uh, please, if you are serious, feel free to give us a call. Uh, to go over your, your tank build. If you're just browsing around, getting ideas, that's what this page is for. It allows you to price things out and get a general idea of the cost of the system before you take the plunge. All right, guys, that's about it. Thank you very much. Bye.